Hello everyone, I'm going to do a, a brief introduction to feedback module uh, explaining the user guide and capabilities of it. I'm Harsha Sirvadana, Google Summer of Code 2012 student of Amrasa.org. Um, my primary mentee is Gaurav Palival, so initial level of feedback module, and my backup mentee is Ben Wolf, he's project leader of feedback mechanism project. First, let me uh, tell you about the role of general feedback mechanism in OpenMRS. Basically, feedback module provides a mechanism for users to communicate with system supporters, admins with system related. That means non patient specific messages. For example, you, uh, some user or implementer can read back like this saying, Today the system is running, running slower than the normal speed. I tried to select summon paragraph and got this kind of error. Likewise, a uh, ordinary user can submit feedback to uh, admins or uh, system operators. Uh, likewise, so these are the features of our feedback module: user-friendly beside reading feedback form, automated screenshot capture mechanism, and edit process by blacking out highlight within a browser. This is a real cool feature. I will uh, show you that later on and uh, user to user communication within feedback system uh, previously if you need to attach a screenshot you had to print screen your machine edit any sensitive data if you exist using an image tool uh, that means if, we, uh, if if there is patient specific data uh, you need to remove them so you had to use image editing tools to edit and black out those and again uh, after all, you have to upload to the feedback form. So all those annoying steps are skipped in this new version of feedback module. The main concept behind the enhancements of new version follows some of the goal features in Google's feedback mechanism. Oh, maybe you have seen that in a uh, YouTube or blog or somewhere. Oh, otherwise you can check it from Google feedback tools as well. So now um, I will start uh, my demonstration. Okay, I'm logging as a provider role. Oh, new one. It's a user of. Okay, let's say. Um, I'm creating a patient called someone Perra. And let's say, uh, suppose you, I'm getting uh, an error while creating a new patient. So I want to file a feedback ticket. So uh, if you want to uh, submit a feedback, uh, you will notice the submit feedback button in this upper right corner. So you need to click on it. After that, you will uh, proceed into the these are uh, visa dream feedback form in the first step uh, you can mention the feedback message content I'm mentioning creating a new patient error occurred by creating a new patient so after that you will notice there's two buttons in here if you click this button um, the feedback ticket will just submit with all the defaults so in one uh, single click you are done so that's for quick uh, way if you want to proceed with the uh, length feedback visit uh, so you can click next after that you will proceed into the stack race uh, optional stack races you can put it in here and click next after that you will uh, be able to um, select any predefined subjects and separate levels and this is a receiver this is a very cool feature in this new version of feedback module you can uh, assign the direct you can direct the feedback into the most responsible person uh, rather than the same admin let's say um, there's a system um, supporter called Gyan 
you can uh, submit the uh, feedback to Gyan rather than sending it to admin so after you click next you will take it into the um, edit the screenshot uh, step this is a real cool feature in the new version of feedback module you can highlight any important data as necessary um, if you want to remove any unnecessary highlights you can just click on it and click blackout you can uh, hide um, those sensitive data by blacking out same as you can remove so after that you can click next it will take some time to render the image and it will show the process screenshot in it in image format so after several clicks you are done with process screenshot and from here so if you need to attach any screenshots or whatever attachments you can choose this button to attach them and after you click next you are taken into the summary of the feedback wizard from here you will be able to see the all the all data and confirm they are correct and we are taking the page information as well and the browser information or is as well in the new version of feedback module so after that you can click submit with that your feedback will be submitted so if you want to review the of submitted feedback you can click like after you click this you will take it into this one so in here you will be able to see the feedbacks you have submitted uh, in history so this is the feedback we just submitted so by clicking that one you will be able to see the, all the screenshot attachments and, and all the stuff are uh, logged in here so now if you want if you need to uh, submit a comment you can just uh, add comment in here after that it will be shown in here one color sakura a moment ago um as well you can attach uh, as well you can view the feedback content this is a feedback and this is the usage rendered race and like that and in here you will be able to see the assigned feedbacks so just now these are assigned to no one calls Zekora. um now I'm log out and log in as Gaian who is the system support of Nuan so by clicking here you will be able to see the submitted feedbacks of GAN I want to see the uh, manage assigned feedbacks of GAN so in here you will notice that this is the feedback we just submitted Nuan Color Seeker moments ago 20 ticket number 20 so in here you will see the uh, comments by GAN and uh, feedback assigned to Gaia so in here you can enter some comments and uh, he will able to um, do the communication with uh, related to a particular feedback so similarly Gaia can submit feedbacks as he's a user of our MRS system he can see the assigned feedback tickets from here and in here uh, all users will able to receive email notifications uh, after inserting their email address in here so they will receive email notifications on there so now let me log out and log in as admin so I can show you the privileges of being admin
So in here, admin can view uh, the old uh, feedback submitted by any user. So he's a super user already. Oh, so he's, this is the feedback submitted. We just submitted in here. So admin can assign new users. Oh, for now, Gan is only user assigned to the feedback ticket. If uh, if admin want to remove this guy and add another one, so after that, now only demon can. Uh, demon is assigned to this feedback ticket. Multiple users can be added to a particular feedback ticket and if all the communication can command on it now we see you want to say can can super is a conversation on this feedback comment list and if you want to close down this feedback status um like so you can change the status as well and our fraud solved and in here you will able to see the series is solved so likewise uh, the feedback administrator can to the super privileges of uh, in this module admin can assign users and status as we said um yes that's all about admin he can view the image as well and um, I will show you the uh, other privileges of being administrator in here the administrator will be able, able, able to or change the predefined subjects he can edit um the captions and priorities likewise he can turn so the admission concept and similarly severity status can be uh, changed to any kind of captions and um, settings by using these settings uh, the administrator can change the captions of so likewise uh, those are the privileges of being admin so another thing uh, to use these are uh, users want to use this uh, submit feedback option the administrator needs to Add particular privilege called um, add feedback um, into that particular role. So after that, they will be able to view that and able to submit feedbacks. So that's all about uh, feedback. Not your, oh no, I will. Switch into the um, slides. So, as I said earlier, add feedback. There are two privileges called add feedback and admin feedback. Um, for normal users, add feedback need to be added. Um, admin need to manually add this privilege for a particular role. Otherwise, send feedback button will not visible for general users. And admin feedback. It's already um, not needed for super user. It's default we added. And after that, um, I will explain a bit more about the technical facts of feedback module. Um, the screenshot rendering mechanism happens completely at client side within user web browser. So only using JavaScript. Now server-side interaction happens at a 
Um, I have used an open source Java jQuery plugin called HTML to canvas to code the screenshot rendering mechanism. And for uh, talking about browser compatibility, uh, I'm recommended I'm recommended to use Google Chrome 18 plus, especially um, recommended to use Google Chrome because of uh, the rendering mechanism uh, perfectly happens in only Google Chrome, Firefox, or uh, Internet Explorer, Opera, Safari since supported. Known issues are OpenMRI said the image isn't getting captured when using other browsers than Google Chrome. Rendering mechanism. Rendering image, HTML button, maybe a little bit different than the actual button. Um, that means a small slight difference between the uh, the rendered in, in rendered image button uh, comparing to the actual button. Um, so uh, I think you need to submit uh, to our project Jira so you can find the project Jira from here and these are the related documents uh, so to learn about this feedback module we can refer these documents um, download or you can download from here if you want to contribute to source code or see the coding um, the really cool feature of uh, screenshot capture mechanism you can visit our setup repository and browse for open MRS module feedback and that's all thank you everyone